get much sleep last night. Hey guys, welcome to Coke Choice. I am here with Bernard Fanning. Um, I'll be calling you Bernard for the last couple of weeks. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. It's <laughs> now, okay, Penny. <laughs> penny. <laughs> Quick Penny over here. Um, but first off, congratulations. Um, three times platinum for Thanks. Tea and Sympathy. That's pretty yeah. cool. Because we're stoked. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. It's mm. not... Like I've been saying to most people, I'd never expected to be doing promo in New Zealand for this. Mm. So... Just really lucky. I mean, and also you've been given the biggest compliment by the Australian public by being voted number one on the Triple J's Hottest 100. And I read an interview with you when you said that you just didn't anticipate all this to happen. What were you anticipating for the album? I don't think I really thought about it very much, to be honest. I, I kind of, um, I don't think about things like that very often. I don't think very far into the future. I think I'm too stupid. <laughs> um, but uh, I didn't. I mean, I thought that it would be in the Triple J Hottest 100, but I didn't think it would end up in the top of it at all. I just didn't. I didn't think it was that kind of song. Mm. I thought it was too poppy. But like we were talking about before, how you know when I was at high school, Pat was one of my favourite bands, and I grew up with the likes of you know Double Allergic and Internationalist. Do you think that from my generation, from my generation, a lot of fans have crossed over now and they're listening to your stuff that would have listened to Powderfinger? Yeah, I think so. Mm. I mean, that explains why it would be triple platinum in Australia, because I don't think there's 200,000 new fans, do you know what I mean? Mm. A lot of those people would like Powderfinger, and, and that's been a really big kind of advantage, obviously, for me in putting out a record myself. But it's also getting played on AM radio and stuff in Australia now, so it's kind of weird. And also because it's not the same sound as Powderfinger, no. it's completely different. So was that a bit of a surprise for you that you did have so many crossover fans? Um, I think essentially it, it sounds different, but in terms of the kind of the way the songs are written and everything, that's my approach hasn't changed at all from what I would do for Powderfinger. They're pretty emotional songs, and um, they're very expressive and melodic. And they're the things that are probably, it hasn't come with Powderfinger, but um, it's just a mellower sound, different instrumentation too, you know, like different types of structures. The songs are much shorter because I had to write them myself, so I had no one else to do guitar solos or anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, Powderfinger had a bit of a crack at the States a few years ago. Are you going to try the same thing with your solo efforts? Yeah, it's getting released in America at some stage. I, that's not all kind of definite yet, all that stuff, but... Yeah, but I mean, I mean, we're in the process of writing a Powderfinger record now, so um, that's kind of my main priority, I suppose. After, I mean, I will, I will go and um, do some promo and some shows in America and elsewhere, but um, I won't be kind of writing stuff for myself again for a while. I'll be waiting till after Powderfinger's done, done another record, at least one, maybe two. So, um, Bernard, we're going to get you to sign that, and uh, Bernard's actually going to be back here in May, and later on the show, I'm going to give you guys a chance to win this, which he's signing right now. And, um, yeah, there you go. That can be all yours. Um, actually, Bernard, we'll get you to think of a question right now, something really obscure that no one will know the answer to. Um, how do you say track 10 backwards? <laughs> how do you say track 10 backwards? Text that answer into 288 along with your name, <laughs> and that could be all yours. <laughs> Thanks, but I will burn and I'll see you back here in May. <laughs> Thanks, see ya. I just wanna wish you well.